here's where things get a little messy. Not all semiconductors are made equal. We all hear about the CHIPS Act and what the Biden administration wants to do. That's for a very, very specific kind of chip. 10 nanometer and smaller, the most advanced one in the world. Now, today, 92% of those come from Taiwan, 8% from South Korea. If every facility that is under construction in the United States because of the CHIPS Act ultimately comes to fruition, we will be making less than 5% of the global total. It's a start, it's not huge. The Koreans and the Taiwanese have been working on this for a long time. Here's the problem. The Taiwanese manufacture most of them. They fabricate most of them. But most of the technology that allows them to do so is not Taiwanese. They just have the end production. There's a coalition of over 9,000 companies worldwide, half of which only produce one product for one customer that ends up in a Taiwanese facility. You pull any of those out of the constellation, the whole thing stops until you repair the constellation. We're going to have to rebuild an entire environment in order to continue putting these chips together. That's going to take a decade. All it takes is one country falling out. I'm personally most concerned about the Germans on this one. Now, on the other extreme, you've got the dumb chips, the 90 nanometer and bigger. This is your Internet of Things, your, your smart blender, the shower brush that sings to you, your smart lights. 80% of those are made by the Chinese, and they can do that without outside help. The other 20% is kind of a split between Japan and the United States. Now, if the Chinese were to vanish tomorrow, obviously the Internet of Things would just die. I would argue that's not that big of a deal. And we have the technology, we have the knowledge. We don't have to reinvent anything. We just need a couple of years to build low-end fab facilities. Uh, the Mexicans are very interested in getting into that space. The problem that they face is bilingual technical language skills. If, you ever ha if you've got kids who are looking for a way to make a lot of money really quick, tell them to learn how to assemble chips and to do it in Spanish and go down there and be translators because that is going to be the single biggest friction point in the bilateral relationship for the next decade or two. And then everything in the middle, 10 to 90, that's your car. That's your planes. That's most power management systems. That's smart meters. We're probably okay there because those are made in Germany and Italy and here, in Japan and Korea, Taiwan, even a little bit in China with imported gear. That looks okay. It's the high end I'm really worried about because those high end chips, that's AI. All these server farms are getting built to do AI at scale. No, we're not gonna have the chips for it. That's the iPhone. We're not gonna have the chips for them. That's electric vehicles. Electric vehicles have two to three grand worth of chips, and they're all either the very high end or the very low end. We won't be able to sustain it and everything that comes from it. 